Ifan Yuba made a statement in the same line. I want to say to you, my brother, the human workplace, senior president, convey this one message on behalf of these Hebrews who are seated, that the best way to honor this great young man is the release of Nam de Kalu. You live forever in the hearts of those that love you so deeply. Insurmountable love, your only daughter, your daughter, Adesi Ba. Tragically, on July 27, 2024, Senator Ifane Yoba passed away in London at the age of 52. Reports indicate he died of cardiac arrest while in the UK for medical treatment. His death was a significant loss to Nigeria, especially to the people of Anambroha state. A touching moment was when Ifane's first daughter paid her last respects, expressing gratitude for her father's love and guidance. Runs through my veins and your wise words echo in my mind. You remain alive in my heart. I am yours, daddy, and you are mine, now and forever. I love you, Daddy, and I know that one day we will meet again. Until then, please keep watching over us. You are truly Daddy like no other, a man like no other, my first love and my everlasting love. Watch me make you proud, as you always made me proud. Thank you, Daddy, for the selfless acts you carried out on this earth, for the uncountable lives you touched. The nation thanks you. Your family thanks you. Now rest in absolute peace with the Almighty God until we are re reunited again to part no more. At his burial, notable figures paid their respects. APC CEO, Alan Ifediaso Onima, spoke of Ifane's generosity and support for the aviation industry. morning before he left, and I knew, I still remember the discussions we had. Ifane was one of those people, he never believed in never very dogmatic, very resilient, very positive, forward-looking young man. He never believed, he never looked down himself, but he was a man with a very big heart. And that was what, you know, drew us closer. I, I saw myself in a final bar, he saw himself in me, and both of us formed a union to the extent that I refused to go and see the wife when the news of uh, the death broke, because I didn't know how to face her. Uh, I'm so emotional that I didn't want to break down her presence. Instead, I sent my wife. If I, I don't think we have to if I. And when we say, if I work for the Anambra people, I beg to disagree. If I worked for the entire humanity, not just Nigerians alone. Wherever he found himself, he touched lives. Even in the Congo, people he never met, people he never knew. I remember when I had an issue, if I was there with me from morning till night, from morning till night, and I remember another situation, if I is always caring, ah, Ide, he calls me by the name Ide, this, your business is so capital intensive, how do you cope, how do you sleep? Okay, do you know, I have this money now, I, I don't need it, can you come and take it to help yourself? If I did that to me, I said, if I know, we were flying together from Lagos on that morning, the last flight we had together. I said, no, if I, I thought he was joking. And when we landed, I had to go into the cockpit to, you know, talk with my pilots and the cabin crew and others. When I got down the stairs, if I was there waiting for me, you know, that thing I told you, I mean it, come, I have some money. I said, if I leave it, leave it. I'm regretting not collecting that money from Ifai because he may have given it to someone who may not return it to the family. But that is the man, that was the man we are talking about. So Ifai was full of love for humanity. He was not tribal. He was not, he, does, he didn't involve himself in all those divides that try to divide humanity and our country. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Chief Innocent Ifediaso Chokuma, founder of Innocin Vehicle Manufacturing, attended the barrier, highlighting Ifane's contributions to Nigeria's industrial growth. Businessman Obina Iyabu, popularly known as Obi Kobana, was present, reflecting on their shared vision for Nigeria's development. Senator Roshas Hanoyo Okorosha, in his tribute, 
recalled Ifane's advocacy for the release of Namdi Kanyu, emphasizing his commitment to justice and peace. Before the death of Iwanyangu, Iwanyangu made a plea to the Federal Republic of Nigeria. As if I went to Villa and begged the Nigerian nation. If I knew Bam made a statement in the same line, I want to say to you, my brother, the human well placed Senate President, convey this one message on behalf of these Hebrews who are seated, that the best way to honor this great young man is the release of Namdekalo. So that the Hebrews can go home and reorganize their place. And I know you, Senator Babio, that even if you don't want to do it, send this message. For the sake of your wife, who is our daughter, send this message and get us a result. Or else, your wife is not too far from taking back home. Your Excellency, Mr. President, we are particularly happy that you are always coming to associate yourself with things like this. Nigeria still remains very grateful. Thank you and God bless all of you. My people. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to My Fun Entertainment. Today we gather to honor and remember a remarkable man, Dr. Patrick Ifane Yoba. Born on September 3, 1971, in Otolo, Newi, Anambroha State. Family videos showed Ifane in London with his family, singing gospel songs, a testament to his faith and family values. Yeah, you can see the family of Sinet Ifan Yoba in UK, we are here, you know, in the city of uh, London, you know, enjoying. Let us thank God for the victory, who is like unto thee, O Lord, who is like unto thee, O Lord. Among the gods, Father, who is like thee? Glorious in holiness and fearful in praises. Always doing wonders, hallelujah. Who is like unto thee? Oh Lord, who is like unto thee? Ifane Yoba's entrepreneurial journey began with importing motor tires and spare parts across West Africa. His ventures later reached Europe, with operations in Belgium and the United Kingdom. In 2001, he founded Capital Oil and Gas Limited, which became a significant player in Nigeria's oil and gas sector. Beyond business, he established the authority newspaper and acquired Ifane Yoba FC, a football club in the Nigeria Premier League. In 2019, he was elected as the senator representing Anambroha South Senatorial District. As we remember Dr. Patrick Ifane Yoba, we celebrate a man of resilience, vision, and generosity. His legacy in business, politics, and philanthropy will continue to inspire many. May his soul rest in peace. Subscribe to my Fun Entertainment YouTube channel.